Hi friends, I'm so glad that you could be here today to hear this story with me. Wait a second, something wrong? Hmm, there we go, can you see me now? Yeah, I forgot to turn the light on, silly me. Well anyway, today's story is about Jesus healing a man who was blind. And you know when you're blind, you can't see anything. Kind of like when the light was turned off and you couldn't see me. That's what it was like for this man all the time. So will you join me while I read this story? And then afterwards we'll have some fun activities for you to do with your parents. So this story comes from the Bible, from the book of John chapter nine. And Jesus was walking with his disciples. And when they were walking, he saw a man who had been born blind, which means he couldn't see at all. The disciples asked, teacher, why was this man born blind? Did this happen because he sinned or because his parents sinned? And Jesus answered, sin did not cause this. This man was born blind so that people could see God's power. So what does that mean? Do you remember a few weeks ago when we were together at church, we learned a song and it went like a little bit like this. See if you can remember when I sing it. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. Do you guys remember that song? Well, what that means is that Jesus can do anything because he has God's power. Even things that we can't do as people, Jesus can do. So guess what he did when he saw this man who couldn't see? He went and he spit on the ground. Hmm. Then he picked it up and made mud out of the dirt and the spit and he put it on this man's eyes. Could you imagine if you were that man? You can't see anything, but you can feel mud on your eyes. Cover your eyes for just a minute. Can you see anything? No, he, he couldn't see anything. But Jesus said, go and wash in the pool of Siloam. And so the man went and he washed, just like Jesus said. And guess what happened? Because Jesus was so powerful and can do anything, the man could see after he washed the mud off of his eyes. His neighbors were amazed. I would be too. If I had seen him, I would have been amazed. I'm amazed just reading about it. And so the neighbors and the religious leaders, they said, how did this happen? Well, the man called Jesus put mud on my eyes and I washed and now I can see. Well, guess what the man did after that? What would you do if that happened to you? Besides telling everybody, when Jesus found the man, he said, do you believe in the son of man? The man answered, tell me who he is so I can believe in him. You have already seen him, Jesus said. The son of man is talking to you now. He was talking about himself. Jesus is the son of man. The man said, I believe, Lord, and he worshiped Jesus because he saw how powerful God is. But you know what? Sin is kind of like a blindness. Sin covers us so we can't see what is true about God. But Jesus said, whenever he saw this man and was talking to his disciples, he said, I am the light of the world. While I am in the world, I am the light of the world. Well, Jesus came as a, as a light into the dark world, and he helps us see what is true so we can know God. Just like how this blind man saw God's power when Jesus healed him, and he began to worship him and believe in him. The same is true for us. When we believe in Jesus and we trust Jesus, we are freed from our sins, and we can worship Jesus as Lord, just like this man did, because he helps us be able to see. So now, if you want to do some extra activities with your, with your family, we have a few more things that you can do. But what I want you to remember is not only is Jesus so powerful and he can do anything, he also loves us very, very much. He loves each one of you. And he wants us to be able to see him and learn about him and know him so that we can worship him. I love you guys. We'll see you again next week.